Good morning, YouTube. It's a beautiful morning here in Chicago. My name's Chris, I'm with The Modern Tradesman. Today we are out in Hines, Illinois with Schroeder Asphalt. Here in Chicago we have a saying that there's two seasons. There's winter and construction season. We are in the swing of construction season. Schroeder does a lot of different things when it comes to paving. Schroeder is a asphalt tear out company. They do grading, they do paving. Today we're gonna to be working with the grinder. Grinding and paving crews are typically what you'll see when a road is being replaced. You'll see things like the grinder on roadways, tearing out the road. This machine and companies like Schroeder are the ones that give you the nice paved roads. They're the ones that straighten out parking lots that are all pockmarked. Charlie's the operator. Charlie's got a lot he's gotta pay attention to. We're gonna to try to catch him in between trucks to where he can show us a little bit about the controls and how he gets his job done. Stick around, you're not gonna to wanna to miss this. So Schroeder is going to be repaving this parking lot. Before they can repave, you don't want to pave over the damaged asphalt. They bring a machine like the grinder in to remove the top few inches of asphalt so that it gives you a good base. You can start working off of what's underneath it. The height is adjustable. So there's a, there's a drum that spins around a lot like the tiller video. If you haven't seen the tiller video, I recommend watching that one. All right, Charlie's in between trucks right now, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump up on the machine with him. He's gonna show us a little bit about what he's doing up there, show us a little bit about the controls and what he's looking for. Charlie, Chris, nice to meet you. Explain a little bit about like what, what we've got for controls. There's two sets of controls here. Uh, you got some screens, what, what are all these numbers, and you got cameras and whatever else going on here. This is uh, cameras for the tracks, front camera, rear camera. This shows uh, the depth of what we're grinding. This here is uh, your front tracks. This is your rear tracks. Conveyor. This is how you turn the drum on. All the different options. Turn your conveyor on here. Your doors, your front and rear door. Your ski. This is how you bring the machine up and down. So I've been hearing you doing some honking, right? When, when the trucks are underneath you, I've noticed they're pulling back and forth. You do a, a series of honks. Tell me what the honks are doing. Like, what's, what's the honks got to do with anything? I honk to have them go pull forward, and then I honk again to make them stop so I can actually get a nice load. So, in you, of, so you're spacing out the loads, right? right you're you're right. making an even load for the whole right. truck. So it's not all sitting in one spot of the truck. What are you looking for while you're cutting? I mean, we've got curbs here. We've got we've got tight spots here in this alleyway. Where are you looking most of the time? You're watching the truck. You're watching your load. What else on the side of the machine are you looking for? I watch uh, pretty much watch the ski over here. Get as close as I can to whatever we're running on without hitting nothing, pretty much. Okay, so you don't want to get into the concrete curb with the teeth because you'll start chewing the curb up. All right, so Charlie's gonna take a little couple minutes here. As long as we've got no trucks, we're going to uh, have Charlie kind of explain what some of the different parts of the machine are. So these are uh, for the ground guy. This is his control panel. He can adjust up and down for whatever we're cutting. The legs here, they steer different than the front. Cylinders here, that's for uh, 
up and down the grade. So this controls the height of the cut to where, yeah, so you can you can raise and lower the machine to get the drum deeper in the ground. You can take deeper cuts, you can take less cuts. The drum, like 73 cut, back gate, goes up and down. What's the gate for? It's got a scraper bar on it, so it cleans up the material behind it. All the material stays in there, in the drum. They got paddles on it. You go to a lower conveyor, which is in front, which puts it in the upper conveyor, which loads in the truck. We can move up here and we can see. These skis right here, this is what sets grade. This is what runs off grade here. We can load, we can raise this gate up too for a deeper cut, or you know, if somebody leaves a pile in the front, we can pick it up as we go. Water system. You said water system. We're sitting here waiting on water. What, what are we waiting water for? To control the dust. If you don't have water, it gets dusty. It's going to be a big dust cloud. It's got a water tank on the machine? Yeah, correct. It's got a water system on here. It's got a back system, which is hooked up to the conveyor which also controls the dust. Sprayer bars that are in the drum, that spray on the drum that control the dust, and sprayer bars on the conveyors. All right, so you can see we're waiting on water. We got a little bit of dust rolling out here. So what happens is it get the as the machine moves forward, you can see it leaves these lines in the ground here. Basically what happens is it goes into this drum. You can see the broken up asphalt kind of piling up here. It works up the conveyor. This conveyor turns on, moves the moves the asphalt up, and then it goes to this secondary conveyor, moves all the way up through. Here's where the water system is. So there's water system in here. There's your ventilation system. It takes and drops a lot of your water and your dust out of here, so it's not going up into the operator's face. Comes up the conveyor and into the back of the truck. Explain a little bit about like how you got started in this. How'd you get going with with becoming an operator and eventually running running a grinder like this? Uh, I started out as a laborer for a concrete company. Labored for five years, six years. Then uh, they asked me to go into 150, so I said sure. Well, I've always wanted to run equipment. Yeah, I would say you get into it, go through an apprenticeship program, learn how to run the equipment, learn from the teachers, learn safety, take the classes, get the hours, so you pretty much know how to run a piece of equipment. Okay, well, I want to say thank you to Charlie. Appreciate your time today. We're going to let Charlie finish up the rest of this parking lot. He's got a little bit left to do, and I'm sure he wants to go home, so we're going to let him finish up. Well, that's it guys. We had Charlie show us what it was like to run the grinder and what it takes to run the grinder. Got some pretty good information. We're gonna get out of here so these guys can finish up and enjoy the rest of their weekend. Thank you for watching. Big, big thank you to Schroeder Asphalt. Brent Schroeder has been a enormous supporter of this channel. I really appreciate him allowing us to come out and see how this is all done. We are gonna be working with him in the future and Brent and Schroeder Asphalt. Also, don't forget, the pre-order's almost over. Make sure you get your shirts, your hats, and your hoodies. ModernTradesmanShop.com, guys. Thanks for watching. Today, we are out in Hines, Illinois with Schroeder Asphalt. Um, and see if he can explain a little bit about, a little bit to us about the, about the we're gonna see if Charlie. Back out fresh on the scene. Back out fresh on the scene. Back out fresh on the scene. Back out fresh on the scene.